Hi everyone, today we are going to learn A level literature, one of the sonnet that is about uh, sonnet number 73. Uh, this sonnet focuses on uh, three major uh, metaphors uh, autumn, twilight, and the fire are the three main metaphors. Based on the three main metaphors, we are going to analyze about the uh, impermanency of human life, transient nature of the human life, and the mutility of human life. Now, let us uh, just have an understanding about the octave A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D. The octave part brings out uh, a kind of uh, argument uh, for the sonnet, and the sister part E, F, E, F, G, G uh, brings out the solution uh, solution in the last uh, two couplet the penultimate line brings out the bigger uh, argument that is the value of love at one's old age so these are the three main imageries so based on that uh, the underlying or uh, main concern is the time factor so the time factor finishes and we need to uh, uh, go away from this human life. So we need to come to the analysis part of this uh, sonnet. The autumn means the near uh, death. That means we are close to the death like that. Uh, twilight means the demarcation of uh, day and the uh, light. Uh, so uh, night and the day. So that means we are about to uh, death. We are about to uh, impermanence of human life. And the fire means the uh, things like it's a kind of a conceit. Conceit means a far-fetched imagery. Uh, in that imagery, we can uh, think about uh, human youth, life, and the final stage of our human, uh, human existence. So, uh, main uh, these concerns we can draw out from the image of fire. Uh, fire also uh, symbolizes about uh, the use of uh, desires also uh, in youth. Uh, to make the fire, we need the wood. Wood means the youth, the vigor, the energy. So, once you consume, once you use your energy, uh, the human life, uh, the desires comes out. So, uh, once the uh, wood is finished, uh, the uh, human fire also finishes. Uh, in other words, we come to cold embers. So, that is about our final ultimate uh, reality, that is death. Uh, that also we can understand from the last imagery. So, we, uh, last imagery. Based on these three imagery, now let us slowly read out the uh, sonnet number 73. That time of year thou mayest in me behold. From that year you can uh, notice uh, me in yellow leaves of none of you do hang. So that is about the yellow leaves. That is the, uh, I mean the closing uh, stage of life because it's about to fall when it comes to yellow. That is about decay. Upon the box which shake against the cold. So that is also about the approaching of the winter uh, we are ruin cause we are late sweet birds sang so it's we are ruin the sounds has come to the end part of that one and in the when it comes the second imagery that is about in me thou seest to our light of such so it's my mature state so I'm about to my death uh, as after sunset fade in the west which west also symbolizes about the death uh, which by and by black and night do take away because I am about to the gloomy stage and the end part of my life. So uh, I will be taken away from this human life. That second self, that second self means the sleep. It's also kind of an inactive position. So uh, it also uh, kind of, uh, I mean, the, uh, reflect about the image of death. Uh, when it comes to the last, I mean, the sister, uh, from the fire image, in me thou seest the glowing of such fire. Fire means the vitality of the human life, the consumption of human youth, uh, like that. Uh, that ashes of his youth doth, doth lie. 
ashes. Ashes mean the end parts, uh, the destruction of something like that. Uh, that uh, as the dead bit, uh, we upon it might expire. Dead bit, uh, we have consumed the youth. Uh, cons uh, this thou perceivest, which makes thou love more strong. Uh, to love that well uh, which thou must uh, leave ill before. So that is about the clinching argument, that is about we need to use some more vigor on love uh, at the last stage. Uh, that is also, I mean, the symbolizes about the uh, little bit of idea about the eternality of the love also because it's something eternal concepts like that because all the Shakespeare is concerned about the eternal uh, things also after uh, death like that. Uh, so, uh, we need to consume love at the last stage also. So, these are the main concerns of the poem. So, we'll meet in some of the questions in the next video. I go on.